Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for choosing this video. You are going to learn how to do these amazing pumpkins using your clothes. So if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for you to receive notifications every time I upload another video. So come with me for I can show you really quick what you need. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do with the first pumpkin, we are going to use a sweater yarn and two ponytails and so i am going to hide the sleeves by just putting it in place and then i am going to roll down and i am not going to finish on to a little past the middle then i'm going to get one of the sides and i'm going to roll it up just like this and then i'm going to hold it in place by using one of the ponytails Then I'm going to stretch really hard because I want to get the leftover of the sweater. I want to bring it to the back for I can make the shape of the pumpkin. And then I'm going to hold it in place with another ponytail. Just like this, guys. And then I am going to use the yarn to make a knot. And by doing this, I am going to create the shape of the pumpkin onto I make the stem. I don't cut anything. I just continue, continue, continue rolling up until I finish the end in creating the stem. And now I am going to cut it, but then I'm going to hold it by just hiding it. And you don't have to use any glue or any wax glue or anything. It's super easy and this is how it looks. And I love it, guys. So this second pumpkin, we're going to create it by just using six socks. Um, if you have any socks at your house, just bring it over where you can make your pumpkin. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to group them like this and then I'm going to roll them up. And then I am going to insert it inside the long white sock. Just like this. And then I am going to be molding the shape. And then I'm going to create another layer with the same sock. And then I'm going to create another layer. Um, and I think I did like multiple layers with the same sock because it's really long. And then I'm going to end up having a the leftover because I really need this for I could create the stem. And so I am going to use this natural color yarn and then I am going to just hold it in place like this and then I'm going to create the shape of the pumpkin by just going around around just like this onto I create the stem. Pretty easy guys. Pretty easy and I love it. Now the third, I am going to be using a cold hat, like one the hats that you use for when you're cold. And I'm going to be using six pairs of socks. So I'm going to put it inside of this hat. And this time I'm going to be using a white yarn and only one headband, ponytail band. <laughs> So I'm just going to put them all inside and then I am going to stretch and really stretch hard because this was a hard project. 
and so and then I'm gonna hold it in place with the ponytail just like this guys and then I am gonna use the yarn to create the shape even though it already has the shape, but you know, the, the pumpkin has lines. So we had to create lines. <laughs> okay, and so now I am going to do the same thing that I did with the rest of the pumpkin. I think this is one of my favorite ones, plus the orange one. Okay, so now I'm going to roll up and rolling up and roll up on to create the shape and then finalizing with the stamp. Simple guys, really simple. Just like this. The fourth pumpkin, I'm going to create it with a scarf. Now I like this scarf because it has white and gray color. And so for those who likes or enjoys your white decorations, I think this pumpkin would look great on your house. So guys with those lines patterns. So I believe you're gonna love them. So just creating this with your scarf, I think it will be great. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna roll up, rolling down, rolling down. I'm not gonna finish until the end I'm just gonna leave a space and then I'm gonna roll it up again and then I'm just gonna use I'm gonna use a ponytail and don't worry I need another one also because once I stretch this really good and then I'm gonna send it to the back then I'm gonna use another ponytail I needed to stretch it a little bit more to get a little bit more because <laughs> that one was too small. It was too short, so I couldn't make it um, really great. Okay, and so now I'm going to be using the, the yarn. Oh, if you see my son's hand, it's because he's always with me when I'm making a project. <laughs> this is why the reason why I don't use hot glue a lot because my son is with me, and so I try to avoid... Um, hot stuff <laughs> so yeah okay so now I am doing the same process that I did with the rest and voila this is my pumpkin so now for the fifth pumpkin I am going to be using just a simple t-shirt and I like this color because it's kind of like yellowish bright yellow so the same thing you're going to do with a sweater you're going to hide the sleeves And then you're gonna roll down to hide them. And you're not gonna finish until the end, right? You're just gonna pass a little bit the middle. And then you're gonna roll up onto the other side. And then you're gonna use one of the ponytails so you could hold them in place. And then you're gonna bring whatever was left over, you're gonna bring it down. And then you're gonna use another ponytail to hold them in place. You have a pumpkin. And you already created multiple shape of the pumpkin <laughs> by itself. So then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna, I'm gonna create the other lines by using the yarn. And then I'm gonna finish by doing this stem. This one came a little longer, but it's okay because you know that there's different type of stem, like longer, shorter, so it doesn't matter. You can make it even longer and it will look nice too. And voila, you have another pumpkin with your own clothes.
for this pumpkin, I'm going to be using a elastic fabric plus burlap. And so I'm going to be using this foam pumpkin that I bought, that I purchased at Dollar Tree. And so I cut this fabric, elastic fabric, and then I hold it in place with a ponytail, just like you see in your screen. So then I decided to cut the burlap and then I, you don't have to make it so perfect because we are going to um, sew it, correct? And so it's just going to, I need to sew it in place with the inside cloth that is stretchable elastic because I need to hold it in place because remember the burlap it's a little stronger and so it's not stretchable enough and it's not gonna hold in place like that so I need to sew it in place So then I am gonna sew it the back as also and it's gonna look like this and trust me this part is not gonna show in my decoration because it's gonna be facing down so you are just gonna sew it one more time until you think it's perfect on okay and then I'm gonna hold it in um, I'm gonna hold it in place with the rope and I'm gonna go around it, go around it until I create the stem. Make sure to fix uh, the burlap because sometimes since it's strong, it could be a little bit distracting. And so you wanna make this pumpkin really perfect. And then I'm just going to put these leaves for a little bit of decoration. You don't have to, but I think it looks nice. <laughs> Now I am going to use this pumpkin and that I also got for Dollar Tree and my son bid on it. So now I am going to use this sucks, uh, this sucks um, to decorate it. And so you could use uh, sucks. I also bought the socks at Dollar Tree also. So just to let you know. <laughs> um, so what I did was I used this sucks to cover this pumpkin I took the stem out the original stem for the pumpkin and then I hold it in place with this rope and then I transfer the the rest of the socks to the back and so now I am creating the shape of this of the pumpkin by using the rope by going around and around and around and then I use this leaf for decoration and voila, you got yourself another pumpkin. And I use the same method to this one, except I'm gonna be using a white rope. And also, I just wanna um, shout out to those people that have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I really thank you guys for that. And thank you for um, being in my journey. Hello guys, thank you for watching. Please don't leave and subscribe for more videos and give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments, leave them in the box down below. You can also follow me on my social media. Bye for now.